bullet shot. Snagged by Bento. Great goalkeeping right there. Perfect hand-eye coordination with grabbing that thing out of the air. Almost like Nick Stone during football, just grabbing that puppy out of, out of the air. Coming on the ice for Mount Vista, Aiden Ingles heading off Evan Hunter. Ingles at the faceoff against Fullett. Oh. And Fullett goes away. Coming in for him is Drew Carpra. Yeah, power play is still a minute and three seconds. One by Vista, Anderson tries to clear it out. And taken. It's a breakaway by Duncan. Duncan shot, knocked away. You had the right idea. I think he just got a little too excited. Taking it back down the ice. Engraff, Engraff hands it off to O'Neal. O'Neal up alongside the bench. He's gonna pass it over to Hambrick. Hambrick alongside the boards. Passes it back over to Engraff. Engraff to full it, full it in the right circle. Shot, knocked away by Bento, out in front. Now taken behind the goal by Cherry Creek. In the slot, Hambrick. Hambrick takes it over the right circle. Shot, bounces off of Montoya's skate. Great goalkeeping so far by Bento, just getting big, getting small, making sure that nothing gets in. Behind the goal, pass out, left circle. Shot was blocked, knocked away. Out in the right corner. Anderson skates over for it. Back at the blue line, Cherry Creek. In the slot, shot! Knocked away by Bento. Second shot goes wide right of the goal. Shot by number 19, full it. And this is back to full strength, five on five. Out in front of the goal. Bent figured out and able to stop Cherry Creek's offense then and there. Another line change for Vista at the faceoff number 40, Jackson Linderman. Linderman taking on Schweitzer. Linderman wins, passes it outside. In the right corner is Andrew Strawn, Jacob Strawn's younger brother, fighting for it up alongside the boards. Now over on the left side, TJ chips it up out of Vista's zone at center ice, grabbing it is Stelliano. At the blue line, taken by Vista. Down over in the corner, Gayu. Pass back to Evan Hunter. Evan Hunter, cross ice, shot! Saved. Frischler saves the puck, shot was by Linderman. Vista's offense so far has been the stronger side of things, especially in the offensive game. They're there, they're getting shots off, and that's exactly what Vista needs to do. Cherry Creek is not so much a well-rounded team as Vista. All they have to do is just keep taking shot after shot after shot, and they will score. Jack Strasser at the faceoff. Creek wins the faceoff, up alongside the boards, passed up to center ice, taking it up is Burgraff. Burgraff up alongside the boards, taken away by TJ. TJ in the right corner, and referees blow their whistle. Here comes a penalty, little pushing, shoving, and some words after the play. Hey, Jay Montoya didn't really like being hit like that. Correction, I believe that actually was Luke Gallo. And it's gonna be a penalty on number 13, Kirsten Hosworth and the wonderful chance from the Mount Vista student section. You can't do that. You know they might overpower us tonight uh, while we're trying to commentate, because you know, against Heritage, I couldn't even hear you, Jack. Man, it was crazy. I mean, I love this student section, especially in which we are super loud, they're super engaged, they're always there. So as of now, it'll be a five on four. Referees discussing, discussing, see if they're gonna give any other penalties. Nope, does not look like it. Boarding was the call. Yeah, and you're not allowed to do that, right? <laughs> no. So five on four, Vista with the one man advantage. Oh, never mind. Major penalty, five minutes. Mountain Vista with the five on four. Got a score here. Yeah, power play, power play, power play. This is where you got to capitalize off of. Watson at the face off, going against Berkey. Berkey wins the face off, passed over to Wolf. They try clearing, won't be able to. Strawn hands it off to Anderson. Anderson passes over, left side, shot out in front, goes away. Right idea, just not the accuracy. Montoya being held up against the boards. Coming in for support is Evan Hunter. Watson has it, Watson passes over to Strawn. Taking it down now is Brennan. Brennan along the right side, shot. Bento tried to snag it, goes a little bit past his glove. 
And referees are going to call a penalty on number 19, Harrison Fullett. Two men in the box now for Cherry Creek. A lot of penalties have been called in this first period of play. Wouldn't you agree? Uh, you're absolutely right, Minahan. You, know, you can't be doing this, but at the same time, nothing seems to be happening on these power plays. So if you're like, either team can really do it at this point. Now, you know, you know it's a three on four. Now Vista has a real good chance. And the second their penalty expires, they, st they have a chance to be a five on three. That could open a lot of opportunities to score. Let's just see how Vista can take advantage of it. So four on three for Vista, 141 left to go on the major. Now a two minute minor penalty. Vista still, have to, still has to serve 50 seconds on their minor and they can get back up to a five and four. Shot, shot, over to the left. Strom recovers, back to Anderson. Anderson at the blue line. Anderson takes it over, passes to Strom. Strom by the left circle, shot, knocked away by Fitzer. Anderson passes it up to Montoya. Post. Back over to Anderson. Anderson the slot. Shot off of Fritzler's knee pad. Watson back over to Anderson. Anderson in the slot. Shot over to the top of the goal. Watson up alongside the boards. Montoya has it. Passes it up. Bounces off of Anderson's stick. And Cherry Creek is going to clear. Now it's going to be a five on three for Mountain Vista. Strong taking it up in the left circle. Shot over the top of the goal into the netting. Dead play. So 38 seconds left to go on the major penalty. 57 seconds left to go on the minor. It will be a five on four after that 38 second penalty ends. And then after that 57 second penalty ends, then it will be a five on five. You have any chance to score if you're Vista, now is the opportunity. Five on three, they've been struggling with just three players so far, even against four, this is where you make the most of it. Aiden Ingles at the faceoff. Cherry Creek wins it, Mount Vista takes possession of it. Linderman passes down to Kim. Kim over to TJ. TJ back to Ken, slap shot, out in front. Save. That was a great save by Cherry Creek. Owen Kim in the left circle. Passes over to Linderman. Linderman hands it off to Kim. Kim shot. Goes over to the right side. Knocked away by Cherry Creek. And that one's going to get away. Five on four now. If you're Vista, you just got to take a second, regroup, figure out a strategy because they're, they're taking shots. They're getting real close. They just need that extra bit just to get it in. TJ over to Gayu. Gayu shot out in front, knocked away by Cherry Creek. And now it's a five on five. Yeah, unfortunately for Vista, but they've been seen to do okay so far on a five on five. Let's see if they make something. Uh, go back over for it. Now Cherry Creek has it up along the left side of the boards. They're going to take it down. Berkey passes up. Burgraff along the left side, passes it over into the slot, goes past Schmidt. In the right circle, taken by Mountain Vista. Cherry Creek has it at center ice. Robbins chipped it up, taken back by Vista. Anderson passes it over to Gayu. Gayu along the left side. Puck taken away. Creek bounces it off the boards. Big hit down in front of the boards. Robbins passes it over to Sisto. Sisto over to Switzer, taken. Guy who has it, passes across ice. Nobody is there. Mount Vista maintains possession. Hickman. Hickman in the left corner. Going over for it is Strasser. Jack Strasser and Hickman fighting for it up alongside the boards. Rest not blow their whistle. They're going to let them fight it out. Nobody can get the puck loose. Oh, Finally, it gets loose. At the blue line, Mason Anderson. Anderson shot. Bounced up in front of the goal. Strasser's there. He gets shoved down. Now shoved into the boards. Strasser passes it out in front. Creek able to clear. And ref's hand is up. Icing. That was a lot that just happened right there, Minahan. A lot of fighting, a lot of shoving. As much as I hate to say it's against our players, but still, I love to see physicality in the sport, especially hockey. 
Hawking is again not known about it, how physical it is. I mean, you love to see, you love to see guys shoving each other, love to see guys putting their body on the line and knocking. He takes the puck back and shoved away from it. Pass over to the far side. Strawn tips it up in the air. Strawn over to Watson. Buck passed away, skating over for it is Helm. Helm up alongside the boards. Helm is gonna pass it over to Fullett. Taking it up is Powell. It's only Powell down there. Stops, skates, he's gonna pass it back. Slap shot, snag by Bento. Shot by number nine, Dalton Berkey. Bento's been the hero so far for this that goal. He's been blocking and stopping everything so far, even when he only has four men. Like, that's just great player in this right there, amazing. Strawn, Strawn. Over to Montoya, Wolf. Wolf over to Hambrick. Skating back for it is Hogue. Hogue in the right corner. Gets shoved into the boards. Creek behind the goal. Having, having a little small talk with Ingles. Ingles wins it, passes it over to Gaiu. Gaiu back to Anderson. Anderson down low, up against the boards. Evan Hunter skating back for it. Puck at center ice. Taking it up is Brennan. Brennan up alongside the boards. Passed up to Guy. Out in front getting tripped and there's a penalty for tripping. It's gonna be a five on four. Getting tripped in that play was number 21, Ryan O'Neal. Yeah, you can't really trip another player, especially in that position. And that's gonna go against Number 40, Jackson Linderman. Two minute power play for Cherry Creek. So unless they score, unless Cherry Creek scores, then however much time is left when this period ends, that gets carried over to the second period. So Cherry Creek will have a power play to start off the second period. Vista clears it. Skating back for it is Wolf. Wolf takes it, holds it behind the goal. Wolf taking it up, passed to Powell. Powell at center ice. Powell in the slot, whiffs on the puck. TJ trying to get it out, tries to clear it, will not be able to. Brennan along the left side of the boards, gets shoved to the ground. In the corner, Berkey, puck gets chipped way up into the sky. Puck over in the right circle. Vista able to clear it. Skating back for it is Wolf. Also going back for it is Strawn. Strawn and Wolf fighting for it up against the boards. They're going to hold it there. 15 seconds to go. Cherry Creek bringing it up. Carpa. Carpa up along the right side of the board. Shot goes over to the right. Behind the goal. Out in front. Knocked away by Bento. Zeros all across the board. 52 seconds will remain on Linderman's power play. And Cherry Creek will have a five on four man advantage. Coming into the second period, we are either going to play some segments for you or you get to enjoy all the little kids coming from all over the place in Denver, Colorado, skating. We'll find out and then we will give you some analysis on the first period of play. Jack Minahan, Jack Bumgarner will be back in a few moments.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Second period is about to begin. So some things you might have missed or probably did. We have set a new attendance record here at South Suburban Ice Arena with 2,000 people. So we made history tonight in a way. And um, oh yeah, during the second period, unknown time as of now, we're gonna be stopping the game for the 60 second Miracle Minute for Wish Week, where they're gonna pass around a bunch of buckets to the students and parents, grandparents of the crowd. Everyone's gonna throw in some money, which all gets donated to make a wish. Two things we'd like to say, apparently kids did not come out to skate, but who knows, we might get it in between the second and third period intermission. Also, if for some reason you are coming to this game very late, there is gonna be free skating afterwards. So make sure to do that and bring $2 so you can skate. I know myself, I will be out there skating, but I cannot skate, so I will be clinging to the wall for the entire time. Anyways, here we go. Start of the second period. Aiden Ingles at the faceoff. And Cherry Creek wins. Oh yeah, and Cherry Creek has 45 seconds left to go, so they get a five on four man advantage. Linderman in the box. Quite unfortunate, but Mount Tavis can handle. Shot. Snagged by Bento. Shot was by number three, Brendan Wolf. I mean, you're right, man. Ham Vista and Cherry Creek have actually both been fines with power play. So, I mean, at this point, it doesn't even really matter if anyone has a, done a power play. No one can get anything done with it. Mount Vista's gone really close, but nothing seems to be coming to fruition. Berkey at the faceoff going against Watson. Watson wins, passes it outside to Anderson. Puck is taken by Berkey. Berkey passes it down to Wolf. Wolf over to Schmidt. Schmidt back to Wolf. Wolf passes it over to Powell. Powell skates back for the puck. Powell passes it back to Wolf. Wolf shot from the blue, blue line, knocked away by Bento. Puck pass back up to Brennan. Brennan up along the left side of the boards. Brennan passes it down to Schmidt. Schmidt's shot, and Cherry Creek scores on the power play, and that's unfortunate because there were just uh, four seconds left. But still game time left. Not out of it yet. Time to come back. Unfortunate that Cherry Creek scored. And that shot looked like it bounced off. Maybe even a Vista player and went in. Benza would have had it if it didn't bounce off anyone, but sometimes this happens in hockey, you know, and you got to respond to adversity. Cherry Creek is running down the ice right now. Hit it up full. Vista recovering the puck. Vista marching down the ice. Never mind, Cherry Creek grabs it and they're there seems to be a scuffle for the puck right now. Vista has it. The referee might be calling a penalty right now. So there will be a penalty on the play. My apologies, there won't be. Referee signaling to the bench. Line change happens at the face off Cooper Woolley. Face off one by Woolley. Over to Duncan. Skating over for it is Cox. Cherry Creek passes over to the right side. Still, Stilano up to Powell. Powell at the blue line. Passes it back to Stilano. Stilano back to Powell. Powell loses it. Woolley out in front. He lost the puck also. Berkey taking it down the ice. Out in the left corner. He's going to hand it off to Powell. Powell shot, bounced away by Bento. Linderman passed over to Cox. Cox passes it off the board, skating over for it is Woolley. Puck goes behind Eisenkalp. Again, Bento has been here all night blocking shot after shot. Unfortunate with that one, you know, goal that just slipped by him. Other than that, he's been amazing all game, blocking everything and stopping everything. At the faceoff for Mountain Vista Ingles. Shot from the blue line. Goes back out over to the left side. 
Pass back over. Anderson's going to take it up. Tries to clear it. Is able to. Far into the ground. Linderman takes it up along the left side. Out in front. Buck knocked away. And here comes a penalty. And it's going to be on number 10, Evan Solano. Jackson Linderman went flying into that board. Like you didn't hear that. Thing. Like that. Like that shook the entire state. Like I felt it all the way up here. Thankfully though, he looks all right. He might on the wind like that, but, but he seems to be all right. My apologies, Alex Dominic in the box. So Vista gets the power play. Five on four, two minute minor. Gonna need to capitalize and score on this one. They couldn't score on the five on three and the five on four in the first period. Gotta take advantage here. Well, gotta call it back. Yep. So at the face off, it's gonna be number 25, Reed Watson. Going against number nine, Dalton Berkey. Face off, one by Vista, up alongside the left corner. Watson takes it back around the goal in the right side. Passes it down to Strawn. Strawn is going to pass it up to Watson. Watson to Strawn. Strawn over to Evan Hunter. Hunter up alongside the boards with Watson. Taking it back down the ice is Cherry Creek. Berkey chips it up. Bento snags it. Referees blow the whistle. Play is dead. Cherry Creek going to get fresh skates on the ice. And again, Mount Vista still has a minute 36 in this power play. They haven't got anything rolling so far with any of the power plays they've gone. Hopefully they get something going. Watson over to Anderson. Anderson hands it off to Strawn. Strawn slips, passes to Anderson. Anderson brings it back to Vista zone. I have a defense right now by number eight, Eric Burgraff. Anderson hands it over to Strawn. Strawn takes it up past the blue line. It back into Cherry Creek zone. Switzer gets shoved down to the ground by Strawn. And there's going to be a penalty. Or there we go, the whistle's finally blown. Penalty was delayed for a little bit and Strawn's heading into the box. It's gonna be a cross checking call. So one minute down on Cherry Creek's penalty, he still has to serve another minute. Is however going to be four on four. And um, when Dominic for Creek gets out of the box, they're gonna have a one minute five on four man advantage. Cherry Creek is so. Dangerous signs from Alta Vista. Four on four. And Creek did store on the last power play they had, so if they get another power play. Angles wins the face off. Cherry Creek prevents Vista from getting out of their zone. Up against the boards, TJ. Kim bringing it up along the left side. Kim brings it down, passes it over to Duncan. Duncan along the left side, puts the puck up past him. Behind the goal. Puck back up against the boards. Duncan shot over the top of the goal. Skating back for it is Kim and Cherry Creek has possession of it up alongside the boards. Brings it back down to the blue line. Kim brings it up. Puck behind the goal. Out in front in the slot. TJ in the right corner now. Passes it over to Strasser. Strasser goes over to Kim. Kim in the slot, out in front. Cherry Creek brings it behind the goal. Hambrick, Hambrick in the right circle. Creek has a five on four. Powell in the right corner. Powell is going to pass it up to Capra. Capra in the right circle. Out in front, now brings it away. Hambrick does. Hambrick in the right circle. Pushing up behind the goal. Out in front, Vista is able to clear. Skating back for it is Fullett. Fullett over the left side. Reynolds up alongside the boards. Again, with Burgraff. Bringing it away is Fullett. Fullett passes over to O'Neill. O'Neill hands it off. 
to Brennan. Brennan back to O'Neal. O'Neal shot over the top of the goal. Burgraff loses it at the blue line. It's passed back up to Burgraff, and there's going to be a penalty. Both power plays are open for both sides, so it's back to five on five. Neither side's getting anything done. It looks like there will be no penalty. Well, five on five. Woolley at the faceoff. Creek chips, chips it back up into Vista's zone. Pass over to Anderson. Anderson flings it up to Hickman. Hickman along the right side, into the right circle. Puck taken by Johnson. Johnson over to Robbins. Back at the blue line, Anderson has it. Anderson clears it back up to center ice, taken by Stilano. Stilano brings it back to Vista's zone. Anderson has it up alongside the boards. Fighting for it with him is Switzer. Coming in for support is Hunter, as is Sisto for Creek. Taking it is Woolley. Woolley loses it at center ice. Creek chips it back into Vista's zone. Line change for Creek. Vista loses the puck, regains possession. Woolley takes it up. Woolley gets tripped to the ground. No penalty is called. Anderson has it. Anderson brings it up. Anderson into Vista's zone along the left side. Shot gets knocked away by Fulzer. Creek passed. Right Anderson had the right idea on that shot. Just unfortunately just didn't have enough power on it. Creek has it in the left corner. Bringing it up. They're going to pass it over to Burgraff. Burgraff brings it back into Creek's zone. He's going to pass it over to Schmidt. Schmidt in the slot. Shot. Knocked away by Anderson. At the blue line. Taking it up is Kim. Kim passes it over. On the left circle. Shot. Over the top of the goal. Jacob Strom with a chance to score. That's been Vista all night. They're having shots. They're just not able to put it away. Cherry Creek, though, they've had maybe like five shots all game. They're able to get one in. Vista has almost 15 at this point, it feels like. They just can't get it done. Creek taking it down. They're going to pass it up. Over pass was Powell. Over in the corner is Kim. Kim falls to the ground, passed over to Watson. Watson clears it into center ice, chipped up, holding it behind the goal. The goalie, Fritzler, Fritzler, hands it off to Dumanek. Up along the corner, Ben Helm. Helm hands it over to Dumanek. Dumanek back to Helm. Helm's going to hand it off to Burgraff. Out in front. Can't score. Vista fans want a penalty. Montoya was shoved to the ground by Berkey. So far, Vista not getting a lot of calls. Kind of reminds me of the Heritage game last night. Nothing was really going Vista's way until almost the very end when they start getting calls. So hopefully, refs are able to get some of these calls down better. But, you know, it's high school hockey. You know, you can only hope for what you got. Two different sports, but I would agree with you. The ref calls have been questionable. I think as of now, they were a little worse than the basketball game last night. Yeah, I mean, some of these are a bit more obvious. Last night, you know, it's kind of hard to tell, oh, did he hit him on the shot, did he not? Over here, it's like, okay, yeah, he got tripped. Why are we gonna call that? Like, like, there's no way he could do that without there being some kind of penalty, but you know, hockey, you gotta get physical, and you gotta, you gotta overcome that. So now we are going to do the 60 second Miracle Minute with 8.47 left to go in the second period. Creek leads one to zero after a goal in the second period by Eric Burgraff, four minutes into the second period. 
Right now, Vista is starting to lock on some of that defense, lacking on offense. They just can't seem to get anything done either way. Bento's been bailing them out all night, but it can't be just up to him. As for Cherry Creek, that entire defense has been doing it, and the goalkeeper's barely sweating at this point. So, Mirahan, if you were Vista, what's the game plan coming out of this, even with a small break? You know, my game plan is you got to score. You got to capitalize on the shots. I mean, there's been a lot of chances. Vista just hasn't been able to put it in the net. But I think even bigger than that, they had their chance in the first period. Five on three, five on four, couldn't score. And then Cherry Creek had that one chance, got lucky, bounced off a of Vista player skate, and they were able to put it in. They took advantage of uh, their opportunity with the power play. And it was unfortunate because Vista only had four seconds until Linderman got, it, got out of the box. And you know, didn't work out. Well spoken, Minahan. I mean, if you're a Creek, I mean, what's your idea at this point? Like, like, just park the bus or just try to keep on scoring? Gotta try to keep on scoring if you're Vista. I mean, again, this game does not count for record-wise. So records will stay the same, but it counts for RPI. Right now, Vista is at number 11 on the RPI. Cherry Creek is right behind them at number 12. If they win Cherry Creek, they will jump ahead of us. We're coming down to the final stretch of the season. Lewis Palmer on Friday, Castleview on Saturday, and then next week, the Eagle Cup against Heritage. That's it, three more games. You want to win this. Don't want Cherry Creek to jump ahead of you because come down to playoff time, that could be the decider if you make it in or not. Uh, well spoken, man. Hey, looks like we are getting ready for another faceoff between... Looks like Aiden Ingles and Dalton Berkeley. Now what I would like to point out is that Cherry Creek in this first eight minutes of play, heavy defense, you know what I mean? Absolutely, it's like I said, they're kind of almost just parking the bus at this point, you know, it's like, we got one goal, all right, just park the bus and don't let them get any, any room on the ice. Now if Vista is able to score, then you already know Cherry Creek Going to be pushing strong, wanting to bounce back and tie the game up. Puck pass over to Domnotsky. Down to Linderman. Linderman up against the boards with Wolf. Angles trying to get it out of Vista zone. Won't be able to. Berkey, shot. Stopped. Right now, the puck has been everywhere in Vista's territory. And every single time they get into Cherry Creek's territory, it gets sent right back. If you're pissed at, again, like you said, they need to bump up this offense and they need to start shooting more accurately. All right, at the faceoff, Cherry Creek is able to win it. Cherry Creek in the slot, knocked out of its zone. Cherry Creek will chip it back in. Going over for it is Gayu. Gayu takes it around the goal, along the left side. Passes it up to Montoya. Montoya along the left side. Clears it. Watson in Creek zone. Watson hands it off to Montoya. Now taken away. Here comes Sherry Creek. O'Neal along the left side in the left corner. Passes it down. Slap shot knocked away by Montoya in the right corner. Brennan. Brennan up alongside the boards, hands it off to Fullett. Over, slap shot. Out in front. Vista gets it away. Montoya passes it over. Strawn skating up for it. Strawn misses the check on Robbins. In the corner, Gayu. Out in front. Vista able to knock it away. Puck chipped way up into the sky, and it's taken by Jacob Sean. Sean on the breakaway, shot over to the right side. Another chance by Mountain Vista. Sean almost had it, just didn't quite have it. And Reed Watson gets flipped up into the sky as this bullet gets stocked to the ground. A lot of crazy things happening in the last minute. I'll be honest with you, I think there's some missed calls on both sides, and I think refs are talking to them to cool their jets a little bit. 
And I think Vista is coming out a bit more amped up, a bit more ready to you know, come out and hit these guys in the mouth. I mean, a bunch of flips just happened there. I feel like we're in the Olympics watching the diving competition. I give that a 10 out of 10. <laughs> At the faceoff, Creek wins it in the slot. Shot, knocked away by Bento. Out along the left side. Kale Burns and Gayu up alongside the boards. Dominic along the left side, pass into the slot. Another shot out in front, Bento snags it. Again, another person saved by Bento, you know, he's able just to grab that puck and then miss a chaos with a bunch of mixture of gold, green, purple, like red and blue. It's just like, it's amazing to me how he's able just to grab that thing through all this chaos. You know, he's taking like slap shot to slap shot, you know, and that's why he's protected, but even that, it's still impressive if he's willing to do that. The face off Woolley. Woolley passes it outside to Duncan. Out in front. Mason Anderson along the left side. Over to Woolley. Woolley. Taking it up is Kim. Trying to clear it, Vista can't. Buck goes around the boards, Anderson. Anderson up against the boards, behind the goal. Anderson and Duncan up alongside the boards. Being held on by Ch Creek players. Duncan hands it off to Anderson. Anderson takes it to the other side, holds it behind the goal. Kim skating over for it. Anderson passes it around, out near the blue line. Heading back into Creek zone, skating back for it is Dominilek. Cox passes it up to Duncan. Dominilek passed over to Helm. Helm along the left side, loses the puck. Cox in the left circle. Creek clears. Icing. Faceoff will be in Creek zone. Line changed by Vista. Yeah, line changed by Vista and Creek. Hopefully a fresh set of states will make this game a bit more interesting and give Vista, you know, some more gas in their tank and hopefully, you know, just gain some more offense going. Right now they're slowly starting to get better and better. They're just not able to quite, you know, they pack it to send the letter. Like they just need to pack that baby up and put her in. At the face off, Ingles and Berkeley. Berkeley gets shoved out. Now he goes back in. Went over to talk to Hambrick. Waiting on the referees right now. Berkeley wins the faceoff outside to Hambrick. Hambrick passes it up to the blue line, going to be taken by Capra. Capra over to Berkeley. Berkeley to center ice. Berkeley into Vista zone, chips it up. Going over for it is TJ. And Bento is injured on the ground. Some shoving and here we go, line. pushing, shoving. It's broken up. Yeah, this is the right idea. You can't be touching a goalkeeper like that. You do that, gloves are coming off. Can't disrespect players. In hockey, it's like brotherhood. Exactly. That's one of the great things about hockey, you know. Fighting is allowed to an extent. To an extent, yes. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to see any of that tonight. I mean, hopefully not, to be honest with you. I don't really want to see that during Wish Week. Only in uh, the NHL do fights really break out. Not in the high school level, which is good. Mm -hmm. Never want to see that. Could lead to a player getting kicked off a team at the very extreme, which you never want to see happen. Mm -hmm. So, a little roughing by Bento. Ingles sticks up for Bento. Doing it a little assertion of dominance to, I think, number nine, Dalton Berkey in the corner. Bento looks okay. Oh, the announcer is saying to stop, to tell people to stop throwing things on the ice. Don't know when that happened. And now, well, I think that's why the faceoff took so long because the referee was over there in the corner and that could have been what it was. 4.46 left to go, Creek leads 1-0. Puck chipped up into Vista's zone. Kim at center ice. 
Brings it up, skating over for it is Linderman. Linderman behind the boards. Brings it out, going up for it is Kim. Kim takes the puck away from Johnson. Kim out in front. Stopped by Fitzler. As of right now so far, Cherry Creek has been making some mistakes. Like there was that one where Cherry Creek Lair caught it midair and Jacob Strawn took advantage of it, just wasn't able to put it away. I mean, Cherry Creek is able to get away with some of these mistakes because Vista just can't capitalize off it. They can't, they can't put the biscuit in the basket. They're just struggling with it. Watson at the faceoff going against Fullett. Watson wins the faceoff outside to Strawn. Strawn takes it behind the goal in the right corner. Anderson shot, bounces off of Fitzler, goes back behind the goal. TJ in the left corner, over to Montoya. Montoya back to TJ, over to Strawn. Strawn over to Montoya, Montoya to Anderson. Anderson shot, knocked away by Fritzler. Back in front, Creek in possession. Brennan taking it up into Vista zone. Tries passing it over to Fullett, won't be able to. Fullett is gonna hand it over to O'Neal. O'Neal and Fullett in the corner. O'Neal up alongside the boards. Jacob Strawn taking it up. Strawn along the left side. Shot, snagged by Fitzer. I mean, credit to Vista, at least they're at least getting into the goal now, because originally it was just getting calm that missed the chaos, just right in front of the goal, also bouncing off a player and just not going in. We're going off the bar, going way off target, just hitting, you know, one of the boards. They're at least starting to hit the goalie at least, you know, which you can appreciate, but you got to get it past the goalie. Jack Strasser at the faceoff, one by Cherry Creek. Passed over to Burgruff. Burgruff. Fighting for it alongside the boards. Taken up to center ice. Guyu. Guyu taking it up in the right corner. Taking it back. Puck chipped up. Skating over for it is Schmidt. Down by the blue line. Vista tries taking it. Won't be able to clear it out of their zone. Hickman behind the goal. Hickman over to Hogue. Hogue passes it over to Guyu. Strassner chips it back over to Gayu. Gayu up alongside the boards. Tries passing it up to Strassner. Over to Hickman. Hickman chips it up into center ice. Referees blow the whistle, stoppage of play. Interesting from both sides. Now they're side really to get the ball rolling in this hat, in this quarter period. Just is getting the right ideas. They're just not able to finish them. At the faceoff, Woolley won by Cherry Creek. Pow, shot. Snag by Bento. Again, amazing hand out coordination by Bento because that's such a small puck flying at you. able just to grab that puppy out of the air with one hand. It's amazing. Wally at the faceoff, won by Cherry Creek. Powell in the slot. Powell takes it into the left circle. Still has it. Displaying some moves. Shot, Vista tries to clear it, and it's knocked away. Creek still has it. Taking it up now is Carpra. Carpra in the right circle, behind the goal. Out in the corner. Berkey. Berkey pass down to Hambrick. Vista chips it up into the netting. And that puck goes behind the boards. And a fan gets a puck for once at a high school sporting event. And you know, that is a, uh, that's a souvenir. Uh, unless he's gonna be forced to give it away. I mean, you could get some money for that on eBay. You can remember, I think that's a Cherry Creek fan, so. Oh, never mind. he gave it away to someone. Anyways, back to the game. Taking it up along the boards is Evan Hunter. Hunter at center ice. Puck taken away by Cherry Creek. 
Greek in the slot. Hunter takes it away. This is gonna have the three on one main advantage. Here they go, down the ice. Hunter, cross ice, shot in front. Snagged. Shot by Ingles. You gotta capitalize on this. Another one was a 3 0 on fast break. You see in basketball, that's almost a guaranteed bucket every time. He had it, he had it, he just couldn't quite finish. You know, like you said, like you have to capitalize on a big play like that. When you catch Cherry Creek on the locking side like that, you have to finish. 126 to go in the second period. Vista trying to tie it up. Ingles at the faceoff, one by Cherry Creek. Stolano passes it up to Follett and Icing. Another line change for Vista. One thing that's interesting so far, Manhans, there haven't been a lot of penalties so far. Like last game, no, there's about, not last game, sorry, last period, there's about, like, if you're like by four, and now there's been like none. Watson at the faceoff. Watson wins the faceoff. Passes over to Strawn. Strawn down to TJ. TJ over to Strawn. Strawn shot. Goes away. Back in the slot. TJ shot up over top of the goal, off the glass. Out in front. Creek tries to clear it. And referees are going to call it for high sticking. Fifty-seven seconds to go in the second period. Watson at the face-off. Watson wins the face-off. Strong whiffs at it. Here comes Sherry Creek down the ice. Berkey, Berkey turns it over. Jacob Strong taking it off along the right side of the boards. Montoya shot over to the right side, behind the goal. Strawn out in front, puck knocked over to the left side. Creek able to clear it. No icing. Oh, there's the icing. Called that one a little too early. I mean, sometimes no, icing is icing. No one fully really understands it. It kind of just happens in hockey. So far, it's been pretty uneventful in this period, except for that one mishap over there on the Vista territory with some stuff going on with Ben, so the Creek player. 32 seconds, Watson at the faceoff, won by Cherry Creek. Creek tries to clear it, Vista keeps it in. Rough spoil the whistle, and that faceoff is gonna go into Vista's zone. Watson at the faceoff, one by Cherry Creek. Powell in the slot, brings it outside into the right circle. Over to Wolf, Wolf's shot, knocked away. Powell gets the puck back, another shot off the of Watson stick. Powell behind the goal. Watson there for support with TJ. Final four seconds. Three, two, one, and that is the end of the second period. Vista down one to zero. Cherry Creek leads one nothing after Burgraff's goal in the second period. Four minutes in, 17 minutes. One last period. Third period action coming up next on Vista Now.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. The third period, 17 minutes, Vista down, one, two, zero. And here we go. The players are back out onto the ice. And here we go, the start of the third period. Final period at the faceoff for Vista. Will be Watson going against Berkeley. This is crunch time, Vista has the score. Watson at the faceoff, wins it, passes it outside to TJ. TJ passes it up, knocked away, back into Cherry Creek zone. Cherry Creek maintains possession. Skating over for it is Berkeley. Montoya trying to take the puck from Berkeley. Him and Wolf fighting up alongside the boards. Puck stolen by Strawn. Strawn passes it cross ice, off of Montoya's stick. Taking it down the ice, chipped up into center ice. And here comes Carpra, knocked away. TJ chips it up to Strawn. Passed up, off the of Watson skate. Over to Strawn. Strawn back to Watson. Watson clears it back into Vista's zone. Skating back for it is Anderson. Chasing after him is Schmidt. Schmidt and Anderson fighting for it. Taken by Watson. Watson brings it down the ice. Watson over to TJ. TJ shot, snagged by Fitzler. You see Cherry Creek there with some heavy defense. Really kind of just having two guys on offense, trying to keep everyone else back. This though, you know, it's crunch time. This is when you have to score. But as of right now, there's no more excuses. You have to put the puck in. At the face off, both teams dead even right now. Puck is knocked away, cleared. To center ice, Kim bringing it around, brings it behind Vista's goal, waits. Passes it up to Linderman, Linderman taking it to center ice. Chips it up, skating over for it is Robbins. Pass back, out in front of the goal, Evan Hunter! Knocked away to the left side. Defense was just way too much there. Shot goes to the right side. Rest hand in the air, penalty. The foul is gonna be on Cherry Creek, it looks like. Power play for Mountain Vista. Can't stress this enough, gotta capitalize for it. Now I know it's only two minutes, but you got to do the most of it now. Watson at the faceoff, outside to Strawn. Over to Anderson. Anderson shot. Goal! It's a goal! Anderson, top shelf, tie game! He put the biscuit in the basket with that one again. Mason Anderson, one of the strongest guys I have ever seen. Men benches 225 easy, squats 405 easy. That's what you need to come back. That's how you do it. You took advantage of that power play, 
Oh, you put that puppy away. Amazing shot by Mason Anderson. Mason Anderson ties this game up, and just as we said, take advantage of the power play. Exactly what Vista did. Better late than never. Both, that's how both sides scored. They both scored off power plays at this point. Cooper Woolley taking it up along the left side and the referees are gonna call a penalty. Injured on the ground, here we go. Pushing, shoving, gets taken away. Referees break it up on the ground. Brennan, yeah, that's gonna be a penalty. Frustration right now from... Heading into the penalty, Brennan. heading into the penalty box, CJ. Yeah, you can't really do that. I mean, I can respect Jerry Creek for putting up for, their, for sticking up for their own player like that, but I mean, you can't score a goal or they commit a play like that. Now you're giving them a power play, which again, that's how they scored on last time. You can't be doing that, especially in the third. Dominic also going into the penalty box. One player down for each team. It's a four and four. Um, well, after Vista ties up the game, no less than five seconds later, pushing, shoving, maybe an injury happens. It's going to be on four and four. Do you think more aggression and scrums will happen in this third period? Aggression, no question. But right now it's like, you gotta win the game. And then when it gets way too close to the end, I think he's like, all right, park the bus, we're not committing any stupid penalties, we're gonna let the clock ride out, go into our overtime. Because I think you can't give that up that, that close to the end of the game. So you just, if you gotta do it, I guess you gotta do it now. So penalties have been assessed. Number 24, Owen Kim. Throwing on a little display for the Vista faithful. Unfortunately, though, looks like Luke Brennan from Cherry Creek looks all right. Trainer Joe from Vista is checking him up right now. Hopefully, he's all right. And it is a five-minute major on TJ, so that is going to take a big hit. There's only two minutes for Cherry Creek, so. So Cherry Creek will get three minutes with the five-on-four advantage. As of right now, it will be two minutes on the four on four. Cherry Creek, I mean, pardon me. Vista has been doing all right against the power play except for that one goal. Other than that, both sides have been facing, have been dealing with power plays all right. I mean, you know, hopefully we see that stellar defense we saw in the beginning from Vista. Reed Watson at the face off. Watson drops the puck, one by Cherry Creek, pass outside to Hambrick. Hambrick taking it around, passes it over to Berkey. Berkey taking it up. Berkey chips it up. Bento is going to hand it off, taken by Cherry Creek. Hambrick over to Berkey. Berkey on front, shot goal. Two one, Cherry Creek leads. Tough for this. I mean, you can't do that to a Cherry Creek player expecting not a high string of offense. Like, that's just unbelievable. Bento can't save everything, but that's hard. That's tough. And TJ does not get to come out of the penalty box, nor does Cherry Creek because it's a shorthanded goal by them, but this is unfortunate. It, it could end up costing you the game. Absolutely, you're completely right. Now, granted, when Vista does get back to full strength, there will be 10 minutes of play, but you can't fall down any more than this. No, you absolutely can. Taking it up is Kim. Kim, pass over to Montoya. Montoya in the slot, shot, wide left. Out in front, behind the goal is now Kim. Puck into the left corner. Taking it up. Out in front of the goal, knocked away. Wolf, Wolf's shot, top shelf and goal. Wow. 3-1 Cherry Creek leads. This, this penalty is a killer. This absolutely kills you. Yeah, if you look in the penalty box right now, you know, we can see like, like he knows he's hurting the team. And you can see it on his face, you can see it on him. Oh, Bento, like, this is putting him in a hard position. You let three goals by, two back to back, and under like three minutes, you know, that's gonna hurt your psyche. 
You know, the whole 20 Cherry Creek fans are over there living it up right now. At the faceoff again, taken by, um, by Cherry Creek. Pass over to Gayu. Gayu taking it up. Passed up to Linderman. Linderman along the left side. Fans want a penalty for Cherry Creek. Ain't going to give it to them. Gayu at the blue line. Loses the puck. Taking it up is Robbins. Robbins hands it over to Fullett. Fullett shot over to the top of the goal. Back into Cherry Creek zone. Stilano. Robbins takes it. Taylor Creek just seems to be putting shots up right now. Like they say, hey, we got three goals in. Why not try to make it four? Three, two, one. Cherry Creek's power penalty is over. They're on the power play for the next three minutes. And they get a five on four. Let's see how this goes. Powell taken behind the goal, out in front, over to the left side, pass over to Wolf. Wolf at the blue line. Passes up to Schmidt. Schmidt back to Wolf. Wolf slap shot, knocked away by Bento. Back over to Schmidt. Schmidt passes it up to Berkey. Berkey up alongside the boards. Anderson is there trying to knock it away. Wolf, Wolf over to Schmidt. Schmidt to Wolf. Up out in front of the goal, knocked away. Back down. Cherry Creek shot blocked by Cherry Creek along the left side. Vista is able to clear it. Two minutes to go on the power play for Cherry Creek. Passed up Wolf. Wolf chips it up. Anderson along the left side. Tries clearing it out of Vista's zone. Won't be able to. Puck over to Berkey. Berkey at the blue line. Hands it off to Capra. Capra slap shot over to the right side. Skating over for it is Wolf. Wolf takes it back into Vista's zone. Wolf skating around with it. Passes it up, knocked away into Vista's zone. Skating up for it is Fullett. Fullett behind the goal. Gets shoved away by Kim. Kim with possession of the puck. Clears it to center ice. Taken by Hambrick. Hambrick in the right circle along the right side. Passes it cross ice and um, that's a goal. That is another goal. Cherry Creek has scored three goals on this, on the power play that they got. The four on four that they were on, absolute misery I mean, right now. that was a perfect play from Cherry Creek. I mean, they found the open man, they threaded and you know, was able to put that thing in just right past Bento. I mean, like you, know, again, like you said, that penalty is killing them. And, you know, on defense, they can't do anything. They can't even get the, like, the puck up, uh, up on the eyes. They can't do anything. Not good, Jack. I'll tell you that. 1.15 to go on this penalty for Mountain Vista. And here comes Cherry Creek again. And the slot shot goal. Well, Cherry Creek is starting to get a little higher in the roll right now. Their basket is full of biscuits. They got five in them now. Vista only has one. I mean, I don't know what to say, Jack. I honestly don't. This, this has been hell. I mean, now we're bringing in the backup goalie. Four goals given up by Malta Vista. I'm telling you, penalty, penalties are killers. That five minute major, it's a shame. It's an absolute shame. Timeout, we're gonna talk things over. You're absolutely right, I mean, Vista has to pull it together, man. Like, Bento, he's been solid all game, just past six minutes, just, he's lost his touch. I don't know what happened. Like, I don't know what I want to say it's the four on five power play. Like, this has been able to handle that old game, and Vince is making great saves. But I think it's just when that other goal immediately slipped in, that penalty happened, and this has just slowly lost its composure. It lost its basic mechanics, so it's going into panic mode. So Bento gets, no Bento gets pulled. Bento gets pulled. Now in number 33, Oliver Kim, the 10th grader from Highlands Ranch High School. I think the question at hand is, um, well, will Cherry Creek score any more goals? Will Mountain Vista get a shorthand goal? And is there a four goal comeback in Mountain Vista with 11-13 to go in the game? All these questions will be answered unless 
my co-partner here, Jack Bumgarner, can give us the greatest prediction ever and hope it happens. Then maybe he will have a career in crystal ball mirror telling. <laughs> Man, I mean, it's wish we, anything could happen. We saw it last night with Heritage. I mean, I believe in miracles. Do you believe in miracles, Mr. Bumgarner? I do. Remember Miracle on Ice way back when? I was back in the 80s when we were playing against the Soviet Union. Yeah, I mean, 70s, 60s out, close enough. It can happen. See, we're making references now to that. <laughs> Anyways, puck in the right corner, falling to the ground is Gayu. Another shot knocked away by Cam. Taken out. Taylor Creek just all up. Schmidt, shot, saved by Kim. All right. The Vistas, I think, is slowly starting to get their footing back, but you know, you gotta get the puck out of your territory. You gotta start running at Cherry Creek. We, we still have 32 seconds on that power play. They lose this game. Practice is going to be very interesting. Reed Watson at the faceoff. Cherry Creek wins the faceoff. Skating over for it is Capra. Carpra. O'Neal out in front. Taken away by Mountain Vista. Watson taking it down the ice. Watson clears it into Cherry Creek zone. Strawn over there. Strawn tries passing it cross ice. Cannot connect with Watson. And the goal is moved. Goes back into place. Referee is going to try to fix it himself. Another shot. Bounce off of Kim into the netting. Five more miserable seconds to go on this power play for Cherry Creek. And then TJ can finally come out of the box. And it can be a five on five for Mount Vista. A lot, of, a lot of hectic stuff has come out of this. A lot has happened in the past seven minutes, Jack. Hopefully after this five seconds, you know, we get the ball going for Vista. Strong passes it up to Watson. That's the end of the power play. Five on five now. Scanning up for it is Kim. Kim takes it behind the goal out to the left side. Tries to get out in front, won't be able to. Domnotsky, Domnotsky up to Kim. Kim gets checked into the boards, loses the puck. Puck back down to Domnotsky, and it's going to be taken by Cherry Creek. Creek passes it up to Sisto. Sisto shot over the top of the goal. Fighting for it up alongside the boards in the right corner. Puck passed over. Creek still has it. And that puck goes out of play. They uh, they blow the whistle and stop at your play. Vista struggling right now, but Cherry Creek seems to just kind of be coasting right now. I, they, I, every time it goes into their territory, they just get right back to Vista. Well, Jack, I know you know, don't know that much about hockey, but there is this thing where you can pull your goalie to get an extra man out of on the ice. Uh, maybe goalie. something that Vista might try to get the six on five. Yeah, pull the goalie. Pull the goalie with nine minutes to go. Let's see what happens. Do it now. <laughs> uh, might not be a bad idea when you're down 5-1. Yeah. Skating for it is Linderman. Linderman shot off the post. Yeah, the right idea, just not the right angle. Shot, bounced up, knocked away by Fritzler. Shot was by number three, Evan Hunter. You know, the second Vista pulls together an offensive run, I mean, Creek is just there either to block it or just go straight back to Vista territory. At the faceoff, Ingles loses it. Cherry Creek wins the faceoff. Taking it down the ice, Hossworth. Hossworth passes it over to Schmidt. Schmidt in the left circle, shot over the top of the goal. Back down. Puck passed around over to Schmidt. Schmidt is going to pass it up to Burgraff. Burgraff over to Stilano. Taken by Mountain Vista. Coming down the ice if it is Gaiu. Gaiu shot snagged by Fritzler. Cherry Creek student section up alongside the glass about 20. There. Here we got a fight. Here we go. The gloves are coming off. And everybody loves that because that's what everybody thinks hockey is about, just fighting and all of that. And, you know, I'm going to be honest here at this point, it's probably going to be a five-minute major for somebody or yeah. both the players. The Creek player is not getting off the Vista player. Yeah, I'm going to be honest here. You're down 5-1, but you really don't want to see that happen. No. 
Like, I, I have no idea how to, I don't know if he hit the goalie or not. Like, I see the Nets push back, but I'm not 100% sure what exactly happened. Yeah, I, there, there's gonna be some major. Two I, players getting sent to the box. There might be a major penalty and a minor penalty. Yeah, but off I think goes. So two players going to the box for Cherry Creek. One player goes in for Mount Vista. Who knows what they're going to call at this point? This is a very interesting game, and you know it's a foundation game. It doesn't even count for records, but my gosh. I mean, emotions get high. It's one to five. You can't lose your composure like that. No. NHL, man, because like, hey, you got a great sports flip, but here you can't. Like, this is high school hockey. This isn't gonna matter in about five years. I, I don't know what to say. I think I'm a little ready for that free skate right about now. Yeah, but at the same time, you know, that lady hasn't sung yet, but I think she's warming up her pipes. Still got eight minutes and 30 to go. I mean, Triggs able to score four in about, I want to say, six minutes. It's completely possible for Vista to put four away, too. That's the bully talk. Dude, the movie's hilarious. Two minute minor for Cherry Creek on uh, number 17, Aiden Schmidt. That first one's gone up on the board. Ref Schill's trying to clear everything up. Creek fans are on their high horse right now. This is becoming quiet. Referee still discussing it over. No more penalties have gone up on the board. Refs talking to the scoreboard. We'll see what they put up. Uh, no, nothing well, else has gone not. up on the board. <laughs> well, whatever. We'll find out when it goes up there. All we know is that this has a five on four man advantage. So that's good. Anderson at the blue line. Passes it up to Montoya. Montoya back to Anderson. Anderson from the blue line. Shot out in front. Back to Anderson. Anderson. Skating her outfit to Strawn. Strawn back to Anderson. Anderson takes it up along the right side. Over to Strawn. Strawn shot over to the left side. Back out in front. Goes past Watson's leg. Over to Strawn again. Strawn cross ice to Anderson off the boards back in Anderson's possession. Anderson chips it up and that's gonna be taken by Cherry Creek. Cherry Creek chips it off one of their players' heads is on the bench. Thankfully they're wearing helmets. Uh, again, there's been no more penalties added to the board. We are at seven minutes and 53. Penalty for Creek is a minute 23. Like you have an opportunity, you gotta, you gotta come back, you gotta do it now. Watson out in front, puck gets knocked away by Fritzler. Anderson over to Watson, Watson in the right circle, shot over to the right side. Strawn skates over for it, down to the blue line. He's gonna pass it back up, back over to Strawn. Strawn shot over the top of the goal. Watson has it, Watson brings it up and around the board. Back to Strawn, over to Watson. Watson back to Strawn, Strawn back to Watson, back to Strawn. Strawn to Mason Anderson, Strawn! Save. Again, we're having the right ideas on some of these shots, we just don't have the angles down. Again, Strawn is a great player. I mean, I don't know what's going on with Vista, but you can't be, uh, the one week you really can't be doing this is during the wish week. In front of all these fans, you break a record of 2,000 attendance. Like, you gotta put up a better fight than this. 
Out in front, shot over the top of the goal. Puck back down to Cam. Back down to the goalie, Cam. Hand it over to TJ. TJ brings it behind the goal, holds it. Puck passed up to Linderman. Puck chipped up, taken by Cherry Creek. Off the board, skating back for his Vista. 15 seconds to go on Cherry Creek's penalty. Holding it is TJ behind the goal. TJ's gonna hand it off to Kim. Kim loses it, back in TJ's possession. Over to Kim. TJ, passed over to Duncan. Duncan shot, stopped. The power play is over, it looks like. Mount Vista still has a player sitting in the box, but we have no information on anything. We got six minutes, 26. If you're Vista, I mean, oh, he's got to start shooting. Dominic takes it. And Mount Vista scores. All right, we finally got one of our own biscuits in the basket. Could well, this be the start minute ahead of a comeback? Well, five to two, sorry about not calling that. My mic accidentally went dead and we were trying to figure that out. But Mount Vista scores and it's five to two. giving each other some interesting gestures about the game. <laughs> I mean, one of the funniest things about hockey is fans always go back and forth. Now, I went to a Pittsburgh Avs game. Man, I felt like I was in a bar with how they were talking to each other. It was super funny, though. Yep, they're, they're, they're still going at it. All right, it's back to five on five. Uh, did they take away the goal or not at it? What's going on? You know, it's a great question. We have not been told anything. <laughs> well, we're going by the score of five to two, okay? I saw that goal go in. We saw it hit the net. Saw it hit the net. That's all the confirmation we need. Not been added. Oh, there they go. They added. So five to Vista down by goal. Down by three goals. Out in front. Not able to score. When would you pull the goalie? I want to say track you two or three minute mark. Part of me keeps thinking whenever I hear a pull the goal, I keep thinking of that one scene from the goon, from like goon, the one hockey game where the goal just comes down and just sure just wow. <laughs> close wires the kid. Okay, Cherry Creek wins the face off. They take it down. Cherry Creek brings it behind and around, passes it up to the blue line, taken. Out in front, in the slot, around, misses. Number 18, Drew Car Capra. Vista got bailed out. There. Capra gets decked to the ground. Oh, and he's injured. Oh, no. I mean, you love to see hits like that, but when he's not getting them, he's clutching himself like that, you hate to see it. Yeah, you do hate to see that. Span of like six minutes. This has to pull it together. In the face off, taken, pass down, pass back up to Berkey. Berkey over to Wolf. In the right circle, pass back over to Wolf. Wolf shot goes wide right. Taken around in the left circle. Schmidt, Schmidt to Wolf, Wolf shot. Locked out in front, trying to score, and they put it in the net. As a goalkeeper, that's hard. Just the puck's going everywhere, bunch of players, bunch of sticks. I mean, that's hard to, that's hard to defend, but. 6-2, Cherry Creek leads with 4.56 
to go in the game. Uh, well, at least this is back to a five on five. <laughs> nope. Creek's basket again has another biscuit added. Looking like a picnic right now for Creek. Unless there's a miracle in Vista. All right, Cherry Creek wins the faceoff. Helm passes it up. Skating over for it. Mount to Vista in front of their own net. Kim taking it. He's up against the boards. Chipped up, taken away by Cherry Creek. Shot off of Kim's stick into the netting. Whistle blows the play dead. Four thirty-six left to go in the game. Six-two. This is down. Maybe a chance for a four-goal, four-goal miracle. I mean, yeah, you need to score a goal a minute right now if you're this guy, and you can't concede. You can't commit any more penalties. Lind Linderman taking it up along the right side, past the blue line into Cherry Creek zone. Linderman still fighting with it, and the referees are going to call a penalty. Interesting. Mayor called South Suburban. Who knows? We'll see. Just remember who called it with four minutes left to go in the game. <laughs> 4.20 to go in the third period. Vista down, six to two. They will get a five on four man advantage in the penalty box number 11, Brady Sisto. Miracle at South Suburban, who knows? Most likely not, but you never know what happens because any team can win in any type of sport. The fat lady ain't singing yet. <laughs> At the blue line, TJ, TJ passes up to Strawn. Strawn in the right circle. Cross ice taken away. Watson still has it. Watson cuts back into the left circle. Whiffs at the puck. Passes back down to TJ. TJ who's at the blue line. TJ has to fade back. Strawn now brings it back into Vista zone. Back to center ice. They hand it over to Montoya. Montoya passes it over to Mason Anderson who immediately hits the deck. Now they're gonna give it over to Evan Hunter. Hunter passes it up to Mason Anderson. Anderson along the right side, in the right circle. Anderson out in front, Evan Hunter, puck gets away from him. Watson saves it, and that's gonna be taken. It's two on one fast break. Berkey shot, oh, and our goalie was gone, and it is seven to two now. I mean, yeah, you pull the goalie about three minutes, you know, and that's what happens. Seven to two, Cherry Creek leads. 3.29 to go in this game. Another biscuit added to the basket. <laughs> Taken by Vista at the blue line. Taken again by Cherry Creek. Switzer, Switzer passes it over to Stilano. Solano is going to pass it up, and that's taken by Mountain Vista. Hickman along the left side. Hickman gets shoved to the ground. Passed up. Couple fans banging on the board, trying to get some support. Hickman loses the puck. Over to Gayu. Gayu loses the puck also. Jerry Creek takes it, bounces the puck off the boards. Gayu out in front, overpasses Linderman. Puck gets by him. Linderman in the left corner. Puck is passed down to the blue line. Vista right now just playing for pride at this point. At the blue line, Hickman and Linderman. Hickman takes it. Hickman takes a shot, and that is stopped by Cherry Creek. Frischler. This is hard to watch for, for us Vista fans, especially during Wish Week. I mean, at least on the bright side, you know. All money's going to Wishwick. We'll take that over anything, but you know, love to have a win for these guys, especially during Wish Week. All right, at the faceoff circle in the right corner, shot it was wide right by Wooly. Wooly in the left corner. Wooly along the left side, puck down. Mason Anderson goes behind the goal. Strasser in the right circle. He did get the second goal. That's pretty good. Puck goes way up into the sky. I mean, it's something, but we're hitting the two-minute mark. 
Cherry Creek taking it down the ice along the right side. In the right corner, shoved against the boards by Anderson. Final two minutes. Anderson along the right side. Guy who's going to pass it up, or I'm sorry, Reynolds. Reynolds up to Strassner. Strasser brings it up past the blue line. Passes it up to Woolley. Puck is taken by Woolley by Hambrick. Cherry Creek brings it up. In the right circle, along the right side. Out in front, shot, saved by Kim. 120 left to go. Taking it out on the ice, Jacob Strawn, Jacob Strawn along the left side. Gets checked on the boards. Puck out, shot by TJ, knocked away by Hambrick. Puck goes back down to Kim. Final minute of this game will roll down, and the referees blow their whistle and call an icing. Uh, you have a minute, four seconds left, seven to two, Creek. If you're Creek, do you even try scoring at this point, or are you just doing no. to be disrespectful? If I'm Creek, I wouldn't score because it's disrespectful. It, 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 uh, it, it's a jerk move. And you know, look in that left corner, all the people who want to go on the ice to free skate. This should be fun. But anyways, final minute of this game rolling down. 7-2 Cherry Creek leads. 58.1 seconds to go. I mean, discipline really is what watched this game. With penalties, poor shots, poor execution. That's been a story for Vista. They came out hot and physical. Then they, you know, instead of being physical and trying to win, so they just went out head hunting. Face off. Cherry Creek passes it alongside the boards. It's taken by Cherry Creek. Here they come down the ice. 50 seconds to go. Kim takes it. Kim gets shut from behind. Creek has it at the blue line. Pass up into the left circle. Bringing it up out in front of the goal. Knocked away in the slot now. Cherry Creek. Montoya in the left corner. Puck taken. Puck goes back into Cherry Creek zone. Here comes Matt Vista. Reed Watson. Puck taken. Out in front, Mount Vista tries to score, won't be able to, final 20 seconds. Out in front, Mountain Vista. Final seven seconds, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's the end, Mountain Vista loses, but you know it was all for a good cause for Wish Week. They lose seven to two, very unfortunate. The free skate will now begin for your Golden Eagles. We are glad we could broadcast this game for you. I would just like to thank a couple people. Isaac Smith, Cooper Hertz, Bryce Miller, Maura McGettigan, behind the scenes in production, our wonderful camera operators, Luke Duffy, Dawson Long, Luke Arnold, and then my fabulous commentator, Jack Bumgarner. This is Jack Minahan signing off. Oh yeah, and I gotta give credit to one more person. Davin, another one of our wonderful camera operators. We will be back tomorrow night to bring you Rough and Tough. Luke, Duffy, and I have a great night, everybody. And don't forget to donate to the QR.